Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create and spin a very simple coin in the latest version of Unity, which is Unity 2017. So firstly, let's create a brand new project. So you guys don't need to have done anything beforehand. Name the project however you like. I'm just going to call it unity 2017 coin spin um, and then i'm gonna put it inside d drive uh, don't worry about any assets we don't need anything and just cl click create project so we have a brand new project with absolutely nothing in it Okay, so now that the project is created, you can see that we have a blank scene with nothing in it. And the first thing I want to do is right click on the hierarchy and create a new uh, object, which is a plane. Right? I always create a plane first because then you have something to put your stuff on. So then I'm going to right click again to create a new 3D object. And this time I'm going to create a cylinder. Because with a cylinder, you can easily resize it to turn it into a coin. So let's bring it up a little bit. And let's um, make it a little bit smaller. So let's make the scale in the y-axis a little bit smaller. And let's also make the x and z axis a little bit smaller. So let's just put... Um, 0 0.5 for the X, 0 0.5 for the Z, and for the Y, let's put in 0 0.03. Okay, so the coin is hovering in the air, and let's make it so that it is standing up. So let's change the rotation of it. Let's change the rotation of it by changing the, um, changing the, Z axis to let's say 90 degrees. 90 degrees, so it's standing up. And let's give the coin a bit of a color. So actually, I'm going to rename my coin over here first. Rename it to coin. And then I'm also going to, in my assets, I'm going to create a new folder. Create a new folder called uh, materials. And then inside the materials folder, I'm going to right click create. Right click create a new material. And I'm going to call it the coin material. And I'm just going to change the color here. Albedo just means the color of the object. So, uh, material is basically, well, in this case, you can think of it like the skin, the skin of the coin. So, I'm going to try and make, get to a bit of gold. All right, so now this color, I can just drag it onto the coin, and now the coin is um, gold, which is cool. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this coin into a prefab. So, go into assets. Right click, create a new folder called prefab. And I'm simply going to drag this coin into the prefab folder. Drag the coin into the prefab folder. So now I have a coin that I can just drag onto the screen. So I can just drag this onto the screen many times. Many times and... Uh, they'll all be the same coin. So the cool thing about it being a prefab is if I suddenly make a change to a coin, right, if I make a change to a coin, um, so for example, let's get one coin, let's make it a bit thicker. If I made it a little bit thicker and then I just click apply, all the coins will be thicker. So. But that's not what we want. I just want it to demonstrate to you guys why it's good to have a prefab. So let's apply again to go back to um, a skinny coin. 
So now what I want to do is I want to add a little script to it so the coin will rotate. So the coin rotates. Um, but before we do that, I'm just going to um, right click and create an empty project, uh, empty object and call it. So press F2 to rename it. I'm going to call it coin group and just drag all the coins in there so it doesn't crowd the level with um, too many coins. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the coin prefab and then I'm going to add a component. And that's how you add a new script. So go right down to the bottom, click new script. And I'm going to call the script uh, coin control. Coin control. So controlling the coin. Actually, we're not really controlling it. We're animating it. Control Coin animate. Coin animate. So now we have a new script. And to edit the script, let's find the script first. So go into assets. You can see the script is now here. I like to put everything in a folder, so right click, create new folder, and call it coin animate. Uh, sorry, call it script. Scripts. Uh, put the coin animate script into the scripts folder. So now it's in the scripts folder. Double click on it to edit in a code editing program. Now, if you have Visual Studio installed, it should open up Visual Studio. Otherwise, it should open up in Mono Develop. So I'm not going to sign in. I just want to go in there and edit, um, edit the code. Let's see if it works. Okay, so now you can see the code. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a bit of code in the update section. So why do I put it in update? Because if I put the code within start, the code is only going to be executed at the beginning. Uh, at the beginning when the coin is created. But that's not what I want. I want the code to be executed every single frame. So let's put it inside the update function. And I'm going to put in the code transform dot rotate capital R bracket one comma zero comma zero. Okay, so why do we do that? Well, transform refers to the uh, transform component that is located inside the coin prefab. So you can see if I click on coin, there's a component called transform. And inside it, it's got all of these properties. And if I use the rotate function, that is how I can rotate it. Okay, how do I rotate it? Well, I'm gonna rotate one in the X axis, zero in the Y axis, and zero in the Z axis. I'm just going to do this and see what it does. So let's press Control S. Go back to your game. Click Run. Run the game by clicking the Play button. And you can see the coins are now spinning. Spinning uh, clockwise, which is what we want. Okay, hopefully this teaches you guys how to make a coin a spinning coin in the latest version of Unity. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.